What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out, everybody. We like seeing good movies win. You know, we like good movies, and we like seeing good movies win. And Godzilla Minus One is a good movie, and it is still winning, all right? It is still winning. It dropped on Netflix over this past weekend, unannounced. Nobody knew what this thing was coming. It just came out of the clear blue. At least I didn't hear anything, and a lot of y'all didn't hear anything either. Everybody's kind of like, what? Godzilla Minus One is on Netflix, what? And it seems like everybody collectively rushed out, threw it up. Oh, hell yeah, man. Let's watch this joint again, all right? And look, boosted it all the way up to number one over the weekend. Over the weekend, number one movie in the United States right now, Godzilla Minus One. You love to see it. Again, we want to see good movies. This should send a message to Hollywood. Godzilla Minus One made for like a budget of $10 million and everybody's loving it. Everybody's ranting and raving about it. People couldn't wait for this thing to get on streaming because look, it had this window, had this weird window where it was only going to be available in December, but then it got pushed a little bit into January, but then they had to cut it short because of Godzilla Kong. There's some kind of an agreement with Warner Brothers and Toho out there in Japan that, hey, we can't run two Godzilla movies in theaters at the same time. So Godzilla Minus One came. It left and then Godzilla um you know and Kong a new empire dropped in and it's like okay and e even with that you know you can't have it on streaming so there's been like this long delay all right this long delay before Godzilla minus one could finally come to streaming pops up out of nowhere and bam look at it all right sitting at number one on the Netflix charts again you gotta love this hopefully Hollywood will pay attention you know 10 million dollars this thing is getting rave reviews Best Oscars, what, visual effects, I think? That won the Oscar for visual effects. Just, again, running laps and circles around all of these big budget blockbusters and everything. The amazing special effects in this movie. Again, you can't say enough about it. And, again, I'm happy because I like this film. It's one of my top three films from last year, along with Oppenheimer and Mission Impossible, uh, Dead Reckoning. One of my three top films. I enjoyed the hell out of this thing. So, yeah, I watched it like immediately after the DA's office. I'm probably going to watch it again. But check this out. This isn't the only place where it was number one. Yeah, this is on IndieWire. Uh, Godzilla Minus One makes history again as number one at the same time on Netflix and iTunes. All right. So, yeah, this is apparently something that's never happened before. For the first time ever, a film streaming on Netflix, free for subscribers and available on VOD, $5.99 for 48 hours, is number one on both charts. A uh, Toho's late 2023 sleeper success and eventual Oscar visual effects winner, Godzilla Minus One, achieved that feat with a totally unexpected and previously un unannounced release on Saturday. Yeah, again, this thing just popped up out of nowhere, man. Nobody knew this was coming. And it's amazing. This is, again, the power of word of mouth. Because as soon as one person said it, it kind of spread and went like wildfire. I'm quite sure. It's like, oh, Godzilla Minus One is, is on Netflix. And then you tell a friend and then the friend tells another friend. And then you put it on social media. And then broop, next thing you know, this thing is sitting at number one, not just on Netflix, but on iTunes. Amazing. And again, this is something that Hollywood needs to pay attention to. These are the movies that you guys need to be locked in with. You know, not just a Godzilla minus one or something like that, but a movie that has it, that it's written with heart. All right. There's a ton of heart. There's a ton of emotion in this. It's not just a monster movie and it's big budget special effects. All right. We care about the characters. We care about the story and the journey that the characters are going on. Like, that's what's really special about Godzilla minus one. That's why everybody talks about this movie and why this movie reached number one on two charts. Something that is unprecedented has never happened before. All right. Will Hollywood learn these lessons, right? Again, as we sit around waiting for the acolyte, you know, as we sit here waiting on the acolyte to come and disappoint the hell out of everybody, you know, will Hollywood finally learn the lesson? Oh, look what Godzilla Minus One did, you know? They gave us a great story. They entertained their audience. They enter They gave us an engaging character, uh, engaging characters. Like, this is what you need to do, you know? So, yeah, hats off again to Godzilla Minus One. Yeah, this is what I'm saying here. Um, you know, because of these, uh, the early February termination of theatrical dates for Minus One, and that came despite the Toho film still doing business, uh, then Godzilla and Kong could play without Minus One as competition. Yeah, they can't, comp they can't compete with each other. Yeah, you can see this is the announcement on uh, Netflix's Twitter page. Godzilla Minus One now on Netflix. Look, this thing dropped at 12.01 a.m. Like nobody knew this thing was coming just in the middle of the night. This guy finally, yeah, he's all pumped up, man. Uh, this guy says many have been waiting for this one for so long. You should have released it with a proper announcement. I mean, it came out of absolutely nowhere. 
Nobody knew this thing was coming, man. Uh, this guy says it's time. Uh, time to run to Netflix and watch this masterpiece. Yeah, everybody jumped on this thing like almost immediately. Uh, please change the thumbnail. It's like you don't want people to find the movie. I mean, yeah, you know, it depends on if you was looking for it or not. But they changed it now. Yeah, now it looks okay. You know, it's right there on number one. Okay, so now it's looking pretty good. You know, right there. Uh, one of the greatest films every May. Hey, man, I loved it, man. I love this film. Man. This film is dope. A uh, goaded movie. I fucking love this movie with all my heart, man. So many people were waiting on this thing to hit streaming. So it had no choice but to jump up to number one right after that, man. No choice. Uh, Sunday is going to be all set with Godzilla minus one. Thank you, Netflix, for the streaming. Yeah, a, a lot of people just say, oh, there go my movie for the weekend. All right, I know what I'm going to be doing this weekend. And if you didn't catch it this weekend, guess what you're going to be doing in the upcoming weekend? Godzilla minus one. This guy, tonight's watch for me. Been waiting for this. Uh, this person, I know what I'm watching tonight. Yeah, everybody was doing that. Again, everybody was going to watch this movie like immediately as soon as it dropped out there. Uh, Netflix best platform on planet Earth. Yeah, I don't know about that, you know, but it's pretty solid. You know, yeah, again, people are excited. People were pumped up. You know, again, I, I did a video about the same thing with Japanese domination, you know, because of Studio Ghibli with the boy and the heron and Japanese, you know, this was all in December. I mean, you know, everybody was rocking and rolling with Japan and anime is still doing its thing. Japan seems to have figured some stuff out that Hollywood has forgotten. All right. Yeah. Adding to the surprise was the lack of any advance word or even news that Netflix had acquired Godzilla minus one for multiple territories, including the U.S. The first alert came from foreign showings on the late on the streamer late Friday U.S. time. Uh, then a tweet from X on Netflix's official page that the film was now showing a blast on Saturday sent to subscribers did tout new titles now showing with the start of the new month, but nada on minus one beyond unusual. So it makes you wonder, like, did they even like just was this like a last minute thing? They just kind of cobbled together and they said, all right, man, we got not minus one. Just throw it out there. I mean, it's amazing that this thing didn't even get like your typical, you know, Netflix blast. All right. Here's all the new titles. You can guys go and watch them right now. All the new titles for June. It didn't even get included amongst that. And it's sitting at where? Number one. Again, that's the power of word of mouth. And if you have a good movie and you get some solid word of mouth, you can do amazing things. Again, without even any kind of pre-word, all right? Lack of any advanced word. This is the power of good filmmaking Hollywood. Are you paying attention? Or are you still sleeping at the wheel? Okay? You got to get back to making good movies. Also unusual, Godzilla Minus One had no PVOD higher price rental prior to this weekend's debut. Uh, going directly to $5.99 on iTunes is logical since Netflix subscriptions are so common and the film is free there. Despite that, it is getting major VOD renting, uh, which took Godzilla Minus One to number one on iTunes. All right. And then number one in Netflix, uh, Fandango. Uh, look at this. This one's interesting, right? All right. Fandango provides a Monday through Sunday top 10. Uh, calculated by revenue, and despite these factors, the the site slots the Takashi Yamazaki directed film at number four for the full week. All right, again, it's Monday through Sunday. This film didn't pop up until Saturday. Already from the Fandango calculations, it got all the way up to number four. Uh, that's a huge initial showing on a chart usually led by mostly higher cost titles. So yeah, Godzilla minus one is just running shop. As usual, okay? It's like it was doing in theaters in December. It's doing the exact same thing here. And you got to love it, okay? Again, we like to see good movies winning. So I celebrate these wins, all right? Because, again, this should be a message to the rest of the folks in the entertainment world. Hey, pay attention, all right? Take some lessons from Godzilla minus one, all right? Not minus one in our hearts, all right? Number one, all right? They should call it Godzilla number one because that's what it is. And again, this is the part that where Hollywood is just going to continue to just, oh, well, you know, good for Godzilla, good for Japan, blah, 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 blah. We're just going to continue down the same path that we've been doing, you know, not learning anything whatsoever from your audience, from watching all of the buzz and the hype. It's like, hey, give us some compelling characters. Give us some interesting storylines. Give us some heart. Give us some emotion. Give us some twists and turns that we didn't see coming, you know. Like, that's basically what we want. We're tired of the same old, same old. Even if this is in a franchise. You know, I've been ragging on reboots and remakes and all that kind of stuff. But even if it's in a franchise, you know, do a bang up job. Get some good writers. Get some good directors, you know, and stop spending so much damn money. You know, we need more Godzilla minus ones. I guess that's basically what I is that I'm trying to say. Anyway, folks, y'all let me know what y'all think. Tell me if you saw Godzilla minus one now that it's on Netflix. All right. 
because look, I've already watched it. Okay. You can see right here. This was my recently watched. All right. You know, I was already checking that out. So you guys let me know what y'all think about Godzilla minus one. Are you uh, excited about it? Have you seen it? Go ahead, jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.